In this video, let's take a look at how to install the official ChatGPT app on your iPhone and then get started with a free account. To get started, find and open the App Store from your home screen. Next, tap the search icon on the bottom right of the screen and then use the search bar at the top to search for ChatGPT. Now, when you search for this, you're going to get a lot of different apps that use ChatGPT as its language model and also in its name. The one that we want is the white and black logo here at the top though. Make sure that it's the one that says the official app by OpenAI. Choose this and then on the next screen, tap get to download and install. After that, we can then go ahead and open the app. The first time that you open the app, you'll need to either sign in with your account that you've already created on the web or you need to create a new one. You can sign up with Google, Apple, or your email. Make your choice here, and then you'll be taken to the welcome screen and then the home page. We're just going to take a quick look at the overview here, as we're going to go over individual and more advanced features in later videos. The first thing that you want to do is choose your model for ChatGPT to use. You do this by tapping the icon here at the top. Currently, we're using GPT-40 as the latest. OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, has made it so that you can use this model with your free account, but there's a limited amount of usage within a certain time frame of a few hours. After that, you're going to need to either use the older Model 4 or upgrade to a Plus account. For the most part though, the free version will be fine unless you're a heavy user. After you choose your model, we can then begin using the app. Here you can ask anything you want. Use the message bar at the bottom, and let's say, Give me a summarized bullet point history of the United States, sorted and labeled by date. Once you're done typing your question, tap the send arrow on the right. After that, ChatGPT will then begin responding and give you the answer that you were looking for. You can then scroll through here and read it and make sure everything looks good. And now we can take it even further by asking questions about the answer, like maybe we want to know a little bit more about the Wright brothers' first flight. We can again use the message bar here at the bottom, and ask something like, tell me more about the Wright brothers. Again, ChatGPT will then begin drafting an answer for you, and you can go through here and check out what it has to say. And again, once we get our answer back, we can take a look at it here and see what it came up with. And let's say we want it to summarize this. I can just ask it, can you summarize that to just a couple of paragraphs? And just like that, it's now going to summarize all of the info that we just got. You can see the history of all of your past chats, by tapping the menu bar here on the top left of the screen, and then inside of here, you'll see them all listed here in the menu. To go back to a past chat, you would just find it and then choose it from here. So this is a basic overview of how to download and get started using ChatGPT on your iPhone. Again, in future videos, we'll start looking at individual features and really how to use the app. If you want more advanced tutorials though, we have complete courses on this and more over at Skill Leap AI, and I'll leave a link to that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.